So I've completed Dark Souls 2, because I'm a massive Dark Souls nerd, it's the first time we're always playing it. Yes, yeah, but of course I've played there. Demon Souls and Dark Souls before. Yeah, I've completed both, the I've completed the other, I've completed them all before, so... Not twice, like I have, <laughs> No, never twice, but yeah, I've done Demon Souls twice, haven't you? Yeah, I've done Demon Souls twice, I've done Dark Souls twice and a half. Yeah, and I'm sure you end up doing this another time. Yeah, I haven't quite started my new game yet, I'm just running around. Doing some like last little things. I'm looking forward to doing New Game Plus though, because straight away from the beginning, there's like loads more enemies. Yeah, yeah, I heard it. The New Game Plus is a lot better, or a lot more. Well, it's a lot different than New Game Plus has ever been before. Yeah. It's probably about on the same difficulty level as the other Souls games, because the first, the first playthrough of this, I didn't think it was that hard compared to the previous ones. Yeah. yeah. It's your John Dyke Covenant that automatically makes the game new play new for Game Plus One. Not only does it do that, it also makes it so you can't um, summon or be summoned yeah. for until you start a new game. <laughs> so yeah, that would be super hard. Maybe maybe use that for another uh, later play for who. Narnia. My theory is that the king they're talking about is the character from Dark Souls 1. Yeah. But there's no evidence. Yeah, yeah. Well, I think ben King Vendrick is the canon version of the Dark Souls 1 character. Yeah. Who we went mental. Maybe everyone does eventually. Well, the Dark Souls universe just seems to, does seem to inherently make people insane. Well, once you've gone, once you've gone on dead, it's just a matter of time before you go hollow. Yeah. All you can do is start killing other people and eating their souls to keep yourself human. But eventually, everyone goes hollow. It's not the best universe. You wouldn't want to find that. You wouldn't want to find yourself stuck in this universe. Well, not everyone in the universe is undead. It's just there is an undead curse. And yeah, exactly. But I imagine somewhere there's just perfectly normal medieval towns. And they just go, oh, that's one of them undead, get the fuck out of our town. <laughs> well, at the start of the game, this character looks human. Well, he's he's undead, but he's just not hollow. Yeah. Unlike the character in Dark Souls 1, you have come to this land by choice. Yeah, willingly. Well, the Dark Souls 1 character, you just wake up in a fucking cell and you're not yeah, really too sure what's going on. Story the story tells you about the legend of the Chosen Undead. And I can't even remember what the backstory for the character from Demon Souls is. I don't know, there is one. I think it's just, you're dead, you wake up in the Nexus. You just trapped there with all the other undeads. Yeah. He's a slider. He's got a slide home. <laughs> but if the sliders came in this universe dimension, I think they'd uh, be fucked. They'd try and leave pretty hasty. Even Rembrandt? <laughs> what about Rembrandt? What about him? <laughs> Surely he'd survive. What, he's going to sing the fucking like, Iron Knight of a fucking jazz song or something. A power ballad. What about the professor? Okay. He's going to be Gimli. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure Gimli would do fine in this world. Well, I've never seen the professor and Gimli in the same room together. <laughs> Get up, you sleepy fucker. 
get so up apparently and, New Game Plus yeah. as soon as you start, start this field is full of um, unique enemies that you don't find anywhere in a normal game oh that's cool so instantly you're just fighting someone standing in you for a minute there I just think why that's am I that's someone who started a New Game Plus yeah <laughs> I was like why was I holding a weapon I was so confused Get exploring, boys. Not that there's anything to explore. Maybe. Yeah, yeah. Not just that path. I was just getting a, a, a handle of that uh, the jump mechanic. Equipment. Yeah, equipment. all the menus are improved on this. If you want to write a message, you literally just click on that and click message. Yeah. Well, you I can't, can't do, do it. Yeah, you haven't got a soapstone yet. Yeah. Now hold four rings instead of two. Yeah. And three weapons instead of two. Ooh, mm -hmm. so sexy. Yeah, that was crispy then. Oh, Rexy, you're so sexy. Because <laughs> ah, ah. everyone knows Empire Records. <laughs> <laughs> Not even the people that were in that know it. Even our friend who is in their favourite film watched it and went... Oh, Liv Tyler's in this. I don't remember this film at all. I hope And it turns Tyler. out the reason it was their favourite film is because she just remembered the song at the end. Great. It's not really it's your like we favourite We could have just film. listened to that song for three minutes instead of wasting a fucking hour and a half. You <laughs> just listen to the soundtrack. Ugh, I thought I'd take that movie. I'd leave those things alone for you. These are like monkeys. They're impossibly hard to punch, but if you do manage to punch them, the whole, the whole, uh, what, packed. Turns yeah, they turn on. Yeah. Rustic coin. Rustic coins improve your luck temporarily. Oh, so, well, so is that a usable yeah, item? Like, yeah, like you're more likely to be able to dodge a. Attack or something. Yeah. It's a lot slower than I was. In. Well, yeah, I'm gonna be slow. Yeah, you shit don't. You I'm don't start off as fast as your character starts off in the first one because in the in the other one, it's basically like your starting speed is default as fast as you can get, and then you'll lose it if you put heavy armor on. Yeah. But this one, like, you have to actually upgrade your... Uh, which that is it? I think it's the dexterity and the adaptability will increase your speed. How do I get to there? I can't remember. I don't know if I even noticed it. Or you just jump off the edge. Yeah, I know. No, you just go round. <laughs> yeah. I, was I was trying to overthink a situation in Dark Souls Universe. <laughs> How do I get to that thing? Those are the Just stones walk. that you can give to the, the crow's nest. Various items. Uh. I forgot how. I forgot how There the is a little buttons. side path you missed, but you might as well go in there and get your character a weapon and the class before you go down there because there's an enemy. Yeah, yeah, that's where the elder is. Yeah. Yeah, I saw that in the two best friends video. Sexy ladies. What's all this noise? We'll have no trouble here. This is a local cabin for local people. <laughs> <laughs> oh my, you have no face. It's an undead. An undead has come to play. <laughs> they all end up here. All the ones like you. All the undead ones. Did we? I don't know, did we? Probably. Not that we saw. We don't get any backstory. Yeah, exactly. I guess it's up to you so to make their own backstory. I think it is implied at some point that you had a wife and child, uh, but you started going hollow and forgetting who they were. So at them. You've, you've quest here to try and find a cure. Basically, it's all the backstory you can put together. Uh, what happens if you kill these women? Um... One of them 
gives you uh, I think like eight humanity, yeah. and if you kill her, you can the maid. You can get your you can use her ladle as a weapon. Yeah. It breaks very really quickly. What will I name myself? Oh, up to you, sir. Will it be Badunkadunkules? Well, you're never going to be as good as my character's name. Well, it's not going to be Badunkadunkules. It's going to be a special name. So Rob of Jabim. Nah. He's the guy. Is he the guy? He's the guy. He's that mighty blue sentinel. <laughs> he's always helping other people fight bosses because he's a nice guy. Well, this Prince is... Wins. <laughs> <laughs> he's going to fucking run away from everything. <laughs> Come down. They wouldn't let me at first. I Are am sure, sure of that name. I am sure. Well, I am the mightiest. It'd be hilarious if I then didn't choose the wizard class. <laughs> I'm Rincewind, but I'm a warrior. And cleric's the best class. Yeah, but Rincewind's not a cleric. Yeah, he's doing magic. Yeah. Is, is cleric the best class? It doesn't really matter in this game, does it? Well, you start off, cleric starts off already at the highest level. And. Take a closer look. Yeah, obviously later you can just craft your characters and be whatever you want. But yeah. cleric's got the best starting stats. And can do a bit of magic and decent attacks. I thought the well, I'll have to wait and see. We'll see in a second. So I've got oh, obviously I've got to make myself me rinse wind self. Yeah. Old rinsey wind. This is a lot more detailed than the old character creator. Well, yeah, because he gets one spell when he gets one spell as well. Yeah, the clerics, I think, it's the clerics level 14 to start with. Oh. Uh, did you, you went deprived, didn't you? Really? I did indeed. Oh, well. I mean, look at the, the explorer, gets a lot of items. Because he's an explorer. Yeah, I know. He gets all the items, doesn't he? God, the bandit looks ridiculous. He's a bandit. Na mean, name a game where the bandits don't look like some kind of S&M nightmare. <laughs> It's no different in Fable. It's weird that the cleric doesn't have any shoes. Man of God needs no shoes. Ugh, I guess. Give him a massive honking nose. No, he doesn't have a massive honking nose. Ratio of nose to forehead. Facial width. Facial rank. Make him look like a hideous mutant. Make him look like the guy out of that film Mask. Not the mask. Not green. <laughs> film Mask about the, the ginger guy with all the, the fucked up face. No. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what he looks like. <laughs> he looks like a, a sponge with ginger hair. Well, I'm not going to make a sponge. Nice. I'm not going to make a sponge with ginger hair, am I? <laughs> Why not? Because <laughs> that's horrible. <laughs> Rin Twin looks a bit Asian. <laughs> <laughs> looks a bit like a chubby Keanu Reeves. <laughs> then that's the look I'm going for. Whoa. Radical. It's a bit of a time. Huh? I'm totally radically jizzing. <laughs> See, so when I did this, I chose deprived. So suddenly I'm naked. Yeah. And you open your menu again, you still got those same rags. And you just, I just, I just put them back up. Yeah, I don't know why they feel <laughs> like when you like when you remembered who you were. You thought, I don't like clothes. <laughs> and ripped them off. Oh, then you're like, it's a bit chilly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> then you got you got cold and embarrassed. Even they're laughing. <laughs> They're remembering you again. <laughs> Look at that fucking idiot. Hold on, if you feel like letting go of your souls. Hold on to your butts. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the Jurassic Park jokes. I like how the old woman is explaining the basics of the game. Yeah, so... so People who haven't played the other two can know what the fuck's going on vaguely. Yeah. Look, like, you're dead. You need souls. But that's me wearing my rags. Shouldn't I be wearing my new clothes? Should do an after cutscene. Yeah. 
Oh, so that's what you're saying. You mean in this cut when she was talking about bullshit, you had the rags on. And then yeah, then that suddenly I was naked. Yeah. <laughs> and then I just put them back on again. I think there's some stuff upstairs, and you can that maid will say stuff to you. <laughs> Unless it crashes. It's never crashed the movie before. <laughs> Maybe it was just it might have just been giving me an achievement, but I don't know. Fuck. <laughs> I'm too magic -y. And yeah, you're right. You uh, a while ago you were saying you can smash chests in this. Yeah. You can, but if you smash them, all you will get is rubbish. Yeah. You can't smash metal chests. So if there'll never be a trap in a metal chest, but if you open a wooden chest, it's this, if you see any mist, just start rolling away. Hello. Huh? And you should be able to avoid. Oh, you've got all my DLC weapons because you're on my Xbox. <laughs> <You> cheeky fuck. <laughs> Anyways. You've probably got a better sword. I actually might not be able to use any of them yet. Yeah, exactly. Look, I could... Just, just still have a look. I've given myself the, the, the other gear here. Right. Uh, let's just... Right. What have we got? We got... What is that? Well, the first thing I need to do is that. Uh, is that oh, hang on, go, go back in. Oh, that's a step two, isn't it? Can you use that one? Staff. No, no, you haven't got. You need faith. You need intelligence 15, faith 12 for that. Yeah. So I can't use that, can't use that, can't use that, can't use that. Can't use that, can't use that, can't use that, can't use that, can't use that. <laughs> well, it won't be hard to get up to strength 7 to get the other thing you can use. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Cool. Uh, how do I know how much magic I've got left? Um, did you put your HUD to be hidden? I don't think so. Go to the options. Screen options. HUD. Yeah, you had always hide. Always display you on. <laughs> <laughs> how the fuck did I put it on always hide? Weird. Okay. You just go through that door. Just give me some items, bitch. My name is the old I mean, Jane, you drink, she just tells you some stuff. Yeah. The old, but, uh, the yeah, but it's bad. The, yeah. Now just go through there. Which was the one I came out that came in? That one. But if you just go through the other door, trust me. But you're untrustworthy. <laughs> <laughs> right, well, in this case, I'm not being untrustworthy. There, there's a bonfire. But you're untrustworthy. What's that say? You've got to smash the car. <laughs> we got a torch. Yeah, yeah. Now you're going to try and kill that ogre? Yar. Yeah, you've only got the one spell. <laughs> What's the burn of it? That is, you can. That is to. Oh, make the <clears throat> thing stronger. Yeah, you have. Well, one you can. If you also stand, if you, I don't think you've got enemies if, react to invaders from other worlds. Yeah, so oh, if it, cool. someone invades you, all the enemies attack you. But then, That's what that item does. Oh yeah. Um, yeah, you can light torches from bonfires if you press Y while you're standing out, and it will toggle to light a torch. But you haven't got a tight lock, torch to lock. Yeah. Torch to light. Torch to light. And uh, yeah, you can burn. If you burn a human effigy in a fire, it will make you human and it will also, it will also weaken the connection to other worlds. So you're less likely to be invaded, but it'll also be hard to summon people. Mm. Um, but if, if you just use a humanity not at a bonfire, yeah. then it won't do that. It will just make you human without. Um, yeah, and you can burn the things that make the bonfires stronger. Yeah. You might want to get to get out of the menu. <laughs> yeah, I was looking at my stats and stuff. I was looking at stuff, bitch. Wrong way. I know. 
And why are you looking there? Because I'm explorerising, isn't you know I? nothing. <laughs> What's that dick ward doing? Standing. Appreciating the view. Are you smoking a joint? <laughs> he heard you. He thinks you're a narc. <sighs> Footprints. Big chuggers. Big chuggers. <laughs> Thank God you weren't in charge of naming the fucking enemies. I don't think you're going to be here. I didn't come back for this guy till hours into the game because yeah. I, I, pl I played the my entire first playthrough without any magic at all. Yeah. Purely like swords and stuff. Well, see, was he harder when you fought him or? Because I don't know if he would have scaled. No, he's no harder. But I can't fucking shoot him from a distance with soul arrows, can I? All I could do was hit him with a sword that did about 30 damage. Yeah, yeah. And roll around. The whole game's harder if you don't use magic. Well, you Which just, is why I wanted to give myself a challenge. You're just not attuned to the magic ways. Well, on my second playthrough, I'm going to eat the loads of magic because I a lot unlocked so many spells. They're going to call you the magic bitch. Uh, rings. Yeah, I didn't know where the rings were. <laughs> the ones that look like rings. All right, I didn't see. What does that do? Additional reduction of enemy poise. Is that a good thing? Gives you better knockback, basically, in old school language. Oh, right. In normal words. Yeah, because if you say it's knockback to your average person, they'd know what the fuck I was on about, wouldn't they? The crit attacks. So there should be an item where The crit attacks, well. Robin. The crit attacks. There was an item right there, you nonce. <laughs> where? Stop spinning around! <laughs> and walk to where the fucking troll was kneeling over. No! <laughs> There's a corpse with an item oh, yeah. glowing right in front of you. <laughs> this is going to be a long playthrough. <laughs> it's hard when you're spinning around. <laughs> they spin me right round, baby, right round. No, I'm done. I don't want to drop down there. No, you don't. Because I die. Yes, you would. And then the but game. Then you'd lose all your thousand souls. And then the game would be over. <laughs> yeah, because that's the way it works. Where are you going? I don't know. Just go just jump back down there. I don't want to let the heat out. Yeah, exactly. I'm a nice man. Talk to that woman again. She should give you her spatula for having killed a troll. Really? Oh, no, actually, not that troll. There's, there's two different trolls if you kill them. She gives you her spatula. What, a, what? Is that even a good weapon? No, it's terrible. It breaks off the heat like five no, hits go on, go on. and does no damage. <laughs> What's the fucking point? Just a novelty. Like the frying pan in Fable. Yeah, I guess, yeah. Oh, that'd be hilarious. You want to make the game super hard for yourself, play it naked with a spatula? Yeah, like, could you upgrade the spatula so it gets stronger? Those are, like, prints that you can light. Yeah. You don't get anything for lighting them all. Though. Do they not just make the, the area brighter? Yeah, they just make it brighter. How do I block? You don't have a shield, do you? You've got two attack weapons, so we don't have a block. Oh, well, twisters. If you put one of them away, you have a block. Yeah. Let's not be silly. These guys don't seem pretty tough. This game's going to be easy. Like, it's almost like you're playing the tutorial area. <laughs> Which is, they've made it in this one so you could which literally run down the path and completely ignore the tutorial area. Yeah.
Man, my strong point is not stabbing. Well, not when you've got a shitty fucking broken back, can you? Well, also, it's not broken, it's kind of... It was broken to me. You look broken to me. <laughs> well, that's a given. <laughs> ogre? Is that the ogre you've got, presumably got a kill to get yeah. the... Uh, the mighty spatula. The mighty spatula. <laughs> He's also guarding mysterious tombstone. Behind, oh yeah, I didn't do critical hit. We love the crit hits. We're all about the crit hits. Crit hits. Dark hunt. Dark. What? <laughs> Where are you going? Well, there was another place I could go and check. It all circles round. It's a tutorial. Just go. No, <laughs> what are you doing? Just follow the path round, and you'll, you'll come out of the top and go back around and be in front of that door. All right. It's just a tutorial leading you round. With the, or you could just run straight down the path and ignore every door. Yeah, but I would I would miss out on getting some easy souls. Yeah, I'm just saying don't do it. I'm just saying. No, you are. Walk in a straight line and not fucking turn around every five minutes. You're saying don't do a duck hunt. Is that dagger better than the dagger I've got? It's the same. <laughs> it's the same dagger. That's probably the first weapon I got. I probably have to punch those first three guys to death. Yeah, actually, you would have, wouldn't you? I'd have, of course, you'd have had to punch those guys to death. I had to punch him to death with his own fists. You should have tried to make a proper. Was there any Wolverine blades in in this? Like there yeah, was in the last well, one. Yeah, there's shit. Just yeah, but there was shit in the last one. one. <laughs> I don't know that. I wonder if anybody has ever bothered to make a Wolverine character. <laughs> you can get Harlequin armor in this. That'd be pretty cool. Dress like a Harlequin with two, uh, two blades. Oh. Curse you! You're already cursed. <laughs> Everyone's already cursed. <laughs> but can you make a. Can you get the Soul Reaver? What? <laughs> <laughs> there might be a wavy sword, but it's not one that's Raziel <laughs> tra trapped in a fucking sword. What's the point? Life gems, they just heal you, don't they? Yeah. Yeah. But before you have your ethos flasks and upgrade them and stuff, the life gems are yeah. pretty much what you need to rely on. Here's the crow's nest where you've got one of those you've got one of those now actually. And I found out unlike the old ones, you don't need to exit and re enter yeah. and exit like I I spent hours doing that. Before I saw someone else do a video where you just drop the item in and then pick it up again. The one at the end. That's uh, it. Select. And leave. No, not discard, leave. Discard destroys it. Alright. Oh, and then if you pick it up again, it should be something different. If you had to get out your menu, press B again. There you go. Pick it up. Okay, and you've got a Dark Knight stone, whatever that is. Whatever that does in its own. Shut up! Kick ladder down. I'm giving you any more silky smooth shit. It'll probably be. It's probably a. Um, if you go along, it'll be, it'll be a. You know, go to your inventory, go along the top. It'll be the, it'll be like a uh, blacksmith stone. Oh, right. Yes, it is. Yeah, you were right. Imbue the crit with dark. dark. Well, I'm not even too sure what I'm going to tune my character to. There's a, you can jump down and get that. Fuck off with your silky smooth shit. 
Got another soul. Don't have a torch. Wait, you're going to go in the next room. Oh no. I've done it my way. Go on running around <laughs> like a blue ass fly. Like a headless chalk arm. That's what you do with everything. <laughs> Throws me insane. Oh, yeah, I can wield I don't the staff. Two-handing two your staff will make the, the spell only stronger. I don't think it. Oh god! Oh, I can't roll. Yes, you can. You just rolled. I just hit the wrong button. I was like, oh, I'll just go back to the uh, the uh, the area, and, and but that will make all the enemies respawn. The first big jump. <laughs> That's a tiny jump compared to some of the later ones. <laughs> the first big jump. If I'd what is what is good on this one though is the um, the see, like the armor weight isn't, yeah. is isn't quite as unforgiving. So as long as you've got under seventy percent uh, maximum carry weight, hmm. you can still run, jump, and roll at your full speed. Yeah. Rather than it being in increments like the old ones. Yeah, yeah. Well, the, yeah, that did get a bit ridiculous. They had to fix that. So what, did you just run through this? Oh, you haven't done your second playthrough yet, have you? Yeah, the second one, I'll just run through. So you know, probably these souls would be fucking worth nothing to me. The hidden walls also work differently in this one. Uh. There's two types. Um, one, if a piece of wall looks suspicious, you literally just stand by it and press A, mm. and if it's a secret door, it will open. The ones that you smash open like you used to, yeah. you now can't smash those open until you've used a Pharaoh's Lockstone. Oh, right. There'll be these faces in the wall. You'll put something in its mouth, and a blue face will appear somewhere else, which is where the the wall that you can smash is. Obviously they do other things apart from show hidden walls. But you can't just smash at any old wall and hopefully it opens now. Yeah. Oh well. You died. Yeah, <laughs> I actually died on this bit quite a few times. <laughs> <laughs> well I thought I could just drop down, but the, like I dropped yeah, down I and it... Waiting to shoot you. Well, I think actually the drop killed me. Yeah, probably hurt. Yeah, I think it, it would Arrow probably killed me. Well, it, yeah, if, whether or not, uh, before I even had a chance to react, I just got... I got crit attacked by the guy behind me with his bow.